universe is. Morning, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So for today's video, gagawa ko na reaction video about 69th Miss Universe. Tito, so let's go watch our reaction. <laughs> Our fifth contestant to make it to the next round is Myanmar. My mother was someone who always believed in the power of me. 
and I really, really love her for that. That is something that I still carry on to this day, even after her passing. The things that she has taught me as a child, those are what have led me to where I am now and to be the advocate for people that I am now. And so I absolutely believe in the power of a mother. I believe in the power of a role model and the power of influence. Dominican Republic. Hello, universe. I'm Kimberly Jimenez, my universe, Dominican Republic. My biggest passion in life is to continue a tradition started by my grandmother, Abuelita Lidia, when I was just five years old. Abuelita. Hello, I'm the Asian Branch, Miss USA. My greatest ambition is to be a success. And whether that success is within my business of brand TV and continuing to expand that, or if it's in my career path somewhere in the entertainment industry. Either way, I strive each and every day to be successful. I've been with my father in CrossFit for half of my life, really sparked my interest. Indonesia. My name is Ro, I'm Wanda Putri. People call me Anula, and I'm Miss Universe in Asia 2020. Mm -hmm. I love the spice. I love the spice. Or even the season of 20 chili in one time. I bet that no one can beat me in eating my food. Yes, I have a platform called Smiley Food. It is a platform for the youth to give back to the company. Seminars for women to be more independent, even seminars for the children to reach their dreams as hard as it can. As my motto that I always believe, let's make the universe smile together. Remaining in the competition is China. Argentina. Ano ba yan? Itong connection na ito, nag-insta? Argentina! Alintia! Hello! Sorry! Alintia! Namaste! I'm Adrian Castillo, Miss Universe, India. I was born in Mesa, Kuwait. At that time, Kuwait was underwent an attack and went to war. When I came back to my country, I had a city of dreams in my life. I was mesmerized. So different languages came together and stayed in unity. Stay in one that gives you to get connected to your inner self and through that to God. And that's something that I always need. And I feel no matter where you come from, your soul will always find a place here in India. Also advancing. Hi, I'm Sabahana. Something you may not know about me is that I co-own a ranch with my mom and my sister. Being diagnosed with autism wasn't a surprise to me or my family. It explained many things why I couldn't express my feelings into words and my communication. I would spend hours and hours around my horse. I felt free, confident, and I felt that no one could judge me. So that's the reason why I decided to do horse equine therapy. In the equine therapy, we make sure that we teach children to step out of the comfort zone and start celebrating who they are. Together with our family, we will make sure that all children are supported, safe, and secure. Finalist is Puerto Rico. 
Rico. <laughs> Congratulations to our second group of seven semi-finalists. Let's check in right now with our expert analysts to get their thoughts so far. Thanks, Mario. 14 incredible women have been chosen. I can't believe there are just seven spots left. I can't believe it. You guys, where's Canada? Where is South Africa? I need to see them, Polina. By the way, Mexico, Colombia, Venezuela, Philippines, they're definitely in the house. Oh yeah, they're crazy. Sure. You guys, I can tell you from experience that the ladies that are waiting for their names to be called are a nervous wreck right now. In my year, Polina, I was the last contestant to be called in my region. Can you imagine? So, ladies, waiting for your time to take a deep breath. You are never going to be able to relive this once in a lifetime moment. Okay, with that being said, Olivia, please tell us who moves on to the 21 semi-finalists. Well, I promise you don't have to wait too much longer, Debbie Lee, because coming up, we'll reveal the final seven semi-finalists and watch them rock the runway in the swimsuit competition. Yes, and of course, the winner of the show, Lucy, is going to be out here for a performance you do not want to miss. This is Miss Universe Live on FYI. With a chance to become Miss Universe is Philippines. <laughs> 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 the value of education the way that I saw it. I live in a country where there's a lot of and education is our social people life, regardless of what background you have. I love the past hopes of your family. You can educate yourself. You will be able to live a great One step closer to her dream is Brazil. Sorry, my lad. I have been exiting China for the past three years. I chose China because I decided I would like to do what no one else has done before. To become the first Latin American actress to enter into the Chinese film industry. And I'm really happy to say I am here. So after China, I feel I'm ready for everything. Only five spots left. And one belongs to Great Britain. Hi, my name is Rebecca and I am Miss Universe Great Britain. I'm running in my biggest passion in life is music. I was living my dream performing for millions of viewers every single week on the X Factor UK. I really needed something that. My name is Isabella. Mis negocios con asesoría, cómo poder agregarle valor a sus productos. Mi familia, la mayoría, somos mujeres. Y estoy feliz de haber crecido en una familia sencilla, humilde, pero rica en valores y en principios. Desde muy niña tuve que trabajar y creo que esto me ayudó a ser la mujer que soy hoy. Tenemos mucha fortaleza y eso es lo que quiero inspirar en cada nicaragüense, en creer en ellos y en su valor y potencial. The next contestant to move on to the is Thailand. Thailand. 